While you're waiting for the wig cap to dry, you can prepare the rest of the doll's hair. I'm going to use this pretty auburn color for mine, and I'm going to give her a bit of a ponytail on top. So what I've taken is a big tuft of hair here, and I'm going to cover this with glue, and then kind of squeeze it all together, and then I'm going to press it against a plastic surface so it can kind of dry like that. And then I'll be adding this to my doll later. I'm also making several wefts of hair with the glue. I'll show you that in just a moment too. That's what the plug of hair looks like with all the glue on it. And now I'm going to be using these kind of motions. And I want to start curling this in so the edges won't have the glue showing. I'll just keep turning them in towards the glue. That kind of rounds this bottom. All right, here are the hair wefts. And what I do is I take just a segment of hair that I like and then I press it down. And I have this all on my lap right now. It's just all glued here so I can show you vertically. But um, I press it down like this and I take my glue, which I use the Fabri-Tac for the hair, and I go through and really get this all gluey. And then I'll even press in with my fingers just to make sure all these hair pieces get into the glue. And then I let them dry a bit here on this plastic and then I'll just peel them off later when I'm ready to use them. But I make several of these. You can make them larger, wider, skinnier, little, you know, tufts of it, however you want to do it. But just get all your hair ready to apply to the wig. And this is how that first tuft that's going to be the ponytail is looking. It's nice that um, now it's starting to get dried off here and I can check and see if there's any loose hairs. A lot of it's just going to be brought into a ponytail anyway and will be secured with a band so it, loose hairs aren't that big of a concern because most of it is very contained. That's what we're using for the ponytail style. Here's the hair segment that I have, the Tibetan lamb, and I just wanted to show you this one's actually quite a bit shorter than the ones that I usually have but I really love the color and the curl. All right, after some time, here's what the doll is looking like. The side is all nice and clear, and, you know, it's definitely not sticky anymore. And so next we'll be taking it off of her head, and then I'll be trimming all of this so it's the right shape for the cap. Then I'm just using some small nail scissors to kind of trim it at first so I know the kind of shape I want before I remove it. And I did a higher um, hairline as opposed to a shorter one because I didn't want to end up having the wig cap showing at all. So anyway, I'll just keep on trimming this. So here she is with her cap. And you can see that it um, looks kind of like a little swim cap. Except it falls right off. <laughs> there we go. Anyway, it looks like a little swim cap. And if you let it dry naturally, it will kind of tighten up a little bit, and that will be good for you. Then if you want, you can flip the whole cap over so the plastic wrap is on the top. And if you want to peel off the plastic wrap, you can, either way. I just thought it might have a little bit more tack if I flipped it over, and it would stick to her head a little bit better. So um, then you start taking the different weft pieces. You can choose which side you want to have showing and then I've just got one ready that I've sized so I just know it's going to go from ear to ear on the back here and I like to do it while it's on the doll so it keeps the right shape then you just simply take some of the glue across the back And then take your piece of hair crossed. I'm sorry. Are you recording? I am, yep. Okay. Right, there she has our first piece of hair in place. Then you just get ready and do it. Continue this process up again with another piece of hair wefting. And I'm going to continue this along the sides too, adding just the little tendrils. I'll probably like just 
have the top of them glued. This is a longer one, but um, the top of it glued and then bring it up to where I want it to be because all of this is going to get glued over. So I'm going to add the tendrils first down here and then get them glued in and then I'll add the ponytail at the end. For now, we're adding our next layer up here of hair. Here's where I also start adding pieces on the top so I can pick out the ones I want to frame her face. And I'm just gluing these in and gluing them back. Again, we'll be covering that with a ponytail. Here's another piece for framing your face that I've just added glue to, and then I'll be gluing down all of this as well that's kind of loose. When you take these weftings off, a lot of the times you need to trim them a bit so it's not so much glue. And if you want to um, cut them apart, make them smaller, you can do that as well. Here's an area where I have some of the wefts connecting, and so I'm just going to cover it up and put some glue on there. And then I'm going to put another piece above it to kind of conceal that area. And then I'll put another one above this to conceal this one. She's looking kind of wild, but it'll all come together. Then on this other side, we have a little blank spot. And so we're going to take some glue, fill that in a bit. And then I made a special little plug that I picked out for this area. It's just got glue on the tip of it. And then I glue it in place. Then all we have left to do is this top piece. It's kind of bald here, and then we'll be adding in this top piece. If you want to flatten it out enough and just not do a ponytail, that's also a choice you have. But that's what I'll be doing next, is just gluing this and then fixing our hair, styling it. Here's how she turned out. I just took the top part into a little ponytail, and I used this little wire to secure it. And then either I cut the wire out or I wrap it around a toothpick, so I turn it into a ringlet as well and just put it in with the rest of her hair. But that's how she looks. I think it turned out darling. And I just got my fingers wet and started running my hands through her hair. And that's how I got this more curled look. And then if you want to use any styling product, gel or whatever, you can do that now as well. So she'll dry with the curls as you want them to be. But that's how it turned out. It, she ends up looking like she has kind of a long hair anyway, so that Ended up really cute. Little ears are peeking out. And then this whole thing is a wig, and I actually, underneath the wig, I stuck some of that blue tape. You could use any double-sided tape, and that just really helped the wig to stay in place. Here's a piece of wire after I wrapped it around a toothpick and then you can just straighten it out a little bit if you want depending on how tight you want that curl to be but that's kind of a cute hair ornament